too much hunting. Uh, I've just been busy doing other things. Um, but I have done some hunting and I did pick some things up and there's been some stuff given to me. But uh, let's go over the stuff that I have, that, I have, that I've acquired over the last couple of days. Um, this one, I already opened this. It's an M2. But, uh, well, there you go. It's an M2, 57 Chevy Bel Air, Black Magic. I, you know, and like I said, normally I try to stick to Hot Wheels, but I'm doing a really bad job at that. Because as you can see, you know, Maestos, I've been picking up Maestos. In fact, I grabbed another Maesto, um, and I grabbed another M2. I don't know. I, I think the more I get into these die-cast cars, the more I'm realizing that there's a whole big world out there that's not Hot Wheels. That is just really good stuff. Um, yeah, so this just looked good to me. So I picked it up, and uh, I'll obviously I'm going to add this one to the collection because it is opened. If I open it, it's staying in the collection. So that will stay in the collection. Um, I also picked up, like I said, I picked up another M2. Not just that one, I picked this one up also. This Ford Mustang GT. Uh, very nice, I like this. I like the paint job on it. There was only one Goodyear Racing. Um, there was only one of these. And as you guys can see, I have not opened it. Don't intend on opening it because uh, I'm gonna send this to someone. I'm gonna send this to a buddy. I think he'll like it. So yeah, not opening this, but I got it because I think it's cool. Because I think somebody, somebody I know who's gonna like it, who's gonna like that a lot. I think. Uh, check this out. So my dad actually found the color shifting bone shaker, monster truck bone shaker, and oh, I was so excited. He actually FaceTimed me and um, put this in front of the camera. I was like, do you have this one? And I got I got excited because you know me. I, dude, I love the bone shakers. I have most, if not all, of the monster truck bone shakers. So it's cool when, uh, when he finds them. And it looks like this one color shifts from white to black. So if it's cold, it's going to be black. If it's hot, it's going to be white. Well, you know, I live in a desert. I'm in Arizona and it's summertime. So that'll explain why that's white. It is hot here. So yeah, so my dad found that. <clears throat> Got that for me, really cool. My pops is always looking out for me. Um, came across this five pack. Dude, I, am so, I was so happy, I was so excited to find this. I grabbed it for one car. Isn't that 610 right there? I mean, not 610, that's 620. It's the 620, the Datsun 620. I grabbed it for that right there. It, it has the Kaido House livery on it. Um, you know, June is the designer of this. We all know that June no longer, like, it's been four years at least since he's worked for Hot Wheels or since he's designed for Hot Wheels. We all know that he's doing his own thing. He's got his Kaido House Mini GTs going. I'm excited for the next, the new release of the of the um, 240Z he's coming out with. That's gonna be cool. Um, but yeah, but I guess he still does collab work or there, you know, some stuff with Hot Wheels. Uh, they still give him some honorable mentions on his designs that he that they still put out for, that he did. Which is cool. It's good that they have a, a good working relationship, because um, now he's he's working for a competitor and killing it, might I add. But I grabbed it because I wanted that car. Um, that Prelude is spoken for. I'm sending that out to somebody. But uh, that Speedtail. I mean, I have a bunch of McLarens. No, I'll keep the Speedtail. That's going to go into the jammer with the other Speedtails. But. That Mazda RX-7 and whatever kind of police car that is, if anybody out there wants it, let me know. But yeah, that RX-7 is nice. It's got full detail. Nice little JDM there. So yes, I was really happy to find this Nightburner set because I wanted that specific car. So I'll set that over there. Yeah, we'll set that right there. Now, check this out. Normally I don't go this big with stuff. But when I saw this, I had to have it. 
I had to have it. Look at this. And I, I don't collect. I literally I have four cars, two NASCARs, and then two like regular cars that are this scale. And just to give you like an idea, I bought, or actually I didn't buy this. My, my mother found and bought me this one, this Ford GT, which is absolutely gorgeous. You know, has all the opening doors. I can get this thing to open. Has the opening doors, active, active spoiler. You know, opening this hood opens. Trust me, it opens. There we go. Hood open. So you know, just a very good cast. Just it's just really cool. So my mother found this one for me. Sounds like somebody just walked in the front door. Dog's losing his mind. And then I found this, and this one was talking to me. Absolutely love it. So I picked that up. Very very cool. Now, come across this, and I'm going to be opening that, because that is staying in my collection. So let's find a blade, and let's crack this thing open, shall we? Cut this tape off. Here, probably need to cut the tape off the bottom of this. Get this thing open. Ooh. Man, they really, they really don't want you to, they don't want to make this easy. Huh. Okay, so I guess I was opening it from the wrong end. They want you to go from this end. There you go. Let's get that box over there. How much more tape? Am I going to have to cut off this thing? There's screws. I'm going to get a screwdriver now. Get the screwdriver going, so you guys don't need to watch this. Okay, that was not easy. Now I got all this tape all over it. Let's let's cut this tape off of here. There's that one. Cut it and try and slide it over the hood. Here we go. Boom. She's free. She is free. Guys, take a look at this beauty. That looks amazing. Check that out. That is so cool. We got opening doors. see inside the car that looks good it looks like yep there's there's a trunk close the doors man look at that motor that looks so good that looks so good Yeah, real happy about finding that Mustang. So that one will go in the collection. There was only one of these and I'm glad, but that's okay there's only one of these because the Mustang Hunter, he already has, he already found this one. So this is already in his collection, so I don't have to worry about you know him not getting it. So, Mustang Hunter. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to have that up there in the collection now. I also found this Maisto hauler. And yes, sir, we are opening this. What did I do with my knife? Here it is. All right, let's get this one open. Let's cut this tape right here. Oh, I think the tape's already cut. Let's see. Let's 
slide this guy out. Throw that box away. Put my knife away. Look at this. Now I guess it's a, that looks like a Mack truck. This is a Mack truck that's pulling this Mustang. Oh my goodness, look at this thing. There is so much plastic involved in this stuff. Look, there's plastic here too. All right, there it is. There it is. I'm gonna slide that close to it. So, we've got a Mack truck. There's the dog on the front. That's why I say it's a Mack truck, because look at that. You got the dog on the front. What a cool detail that is. What does that say? Does that probably says Mack truck on the side right there. And let's look at this Mustang though. Check this thing out. Big old fat tires in the back, it's all tubbed out. You have Edelbrock, Firestone. Again with the opening hood. How far open does that go? Okay, there it goes. Opening hood so you can see the motor. Oof. This is nice. Tail light details. I really like this one. This looks cool. There's the bottom in case anybody wants to. Oops, upside down. 1965 Ford Mustang. Man, guys, this is nice. Doesn't have a big door, does it? No, it doesn't. Sorry about my big old fat thumb there. But man, look at how good that looks. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, don't worry. There were two. There were two. So yes, I am sending this to the Mustang Hunter. How cool is that thing? So guys, this is what I have found. Over the last couple of days, last three or four days, this is what I have found. And uh, that is cool. Um, you know, I can't, I guess I could do a photo montage of this, but my little studio is not set up for something this big. So rather than do the photo montage of that Mustang, let's do a photo montage of this setup right here. Here we go, photo montage. <laughs> 